Good morning and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. A behavioral coach at Alamo Navajo School in Magdalena is charged with raping a 15-year-old girl. State police arrested Mark Shaddock on Tuesday. They say the crimes began in the spring. Shaddock faces multiple counts of rape, kidnapping, child abuse, and stalking. White-collar crime investigators went door-to-door -door in Albuquerque's El Verado Park neighborhood last night looking for a money trail. Authorities want to know what happened to donations made in memory of three-year-old Ty Toribio. His mother, Tiffany Toribio, is accused of killing and burying the boy at the park in May. Police say fundraisers collected up to $6,000 for funeral expenses and park improvements, but much of that money is unaccounted for. File this one under dumb criminals. Albuquerque police say a thief left a clue far better than a fingerprint. They say 29-year-old Jeremiah Romero pointed a surveillance camera at himself as he stole it from the Pat Hurley Park Community Center last weekend. Romero is charged with larceny and conspiracy. He's free on bond. Police are still looking for a woman who was seen in that video. The Santa Fe City Council has approved a plan to buy the College of Santa Fe for $30 million, then lease it to a company called Laureate Education. Laureate says it will commit to a 26-year lease and will continue the school's heavily arts-oriented curriculum. The New Mexico Department of Workforce Solutions Unemployment Insurance Claim System will be closed until 9.30 this morning. The department is installing a new server. The unemployment call center phone lines are also unavailable. Operations will resume at 9.30 this morning. We'll have a lot more news for you coming up on KRQE News 13 at 9.